Okay, that makes When she does her little thing, she's like, shit, it goes... She'll start, like, twitching. I was gonna say, there's no taser in this game. I mean, there's no machine gun in this Now I can start getting the death masks! Oh god, that's right. And go unlock what you've already seen, the Crimson Head. Yep. Ever so briefly. Yeah, which is where I thought that was the first Crimson Head you fought. I will say the lighting and the mood in this game is a lot more tense. Because in the first one, everything is so evenly lit. Because on the PlayStation, you can't butts around with lighting that much. As you can imagine. Yeah. I thought there were more guys in here. <sighs> Which way to go? I thought there was first? any guy in here. In RE1, there was a lot of guys in here, and it was a pain. Wasn't well, it blue and red? Yeah, in the other game. Shotgun out. Good thing we have it. How would you know which eye to put it in? I guess 50, we don't see shot. her putting it in the other one. <laughs> Whoops, wrong one. Yeah, it's definitely way moodier. Whoa. Oh, there must be one banging on the window. And he is going to bust in later. Probably right after I get this death mask. Oh, You'll want to stay away from there. It's got a death curse. What's that from? No, you get, don't you add the chemical in there? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to see what was over here first. Chemicals. I think it was Friday the 13th. The original? One of them, I don't know which one. I need to use this. Oh, that's right. I've got to be... She just dumped the whole bag in? She dropped the bag in. That's right. I've got to be careful that I want the red pipe. Because the red pipe goes to the evil plant, and the green pipe goes to all my health-giving herbs. So if you make a mistake, you can kill all those herbs over there. No. Like, if somebody asked me that question, no. Leave it. Will you take the death mask? No. Why not? Good thing you've already been to the place and you know that you have to use it. Uh, I'm trying to think, should I combine them or keep them separate? Combine, and then take the last one. Unless you have, you want to leave that slot for something. Well, I can combine that one and then keep take these two. Now that it's two, I might as well just go to three. I'll come back for the other one later. Now that you haven't killed it. So what, if you use the wrong way, can you turn like, I think you can turn it back. Okay, I was going to say, does that mean you run out of... It's just that you would end up killing... Oh, jeez, they're on both sides. Run, Jill, run, Jill, run, Jill. I, I, can, I consider turning around to shoot them, and then part of me was like, nah. Waste of... I'll do, do that later. A waste of ammo ammunition. Will you take the death? I shall not, sir.
The mask, on the other hand, that was always something that me and my friend Paul and Caleb would, you know, it's always like, they always, it's always phrased as such a stupid question, like, would you take a shotgun? It's like, so we started just replacing things in with, <laughs> will you take, you know, will you take this awful disease, will you take the death, will you take the zombie? I would love a zombie. Right about now. Make sure he has a red head. I prefer my zombies. Yellow. Or whatever. White. Plush tone. That's racist. Sorry. Okay, black. <laughs> I just... I just tease. I prefer... A, I, I prefer a group of... A, what is it? Uh, these zombies were made by a multicultural team of many ethnic backgrounds and beliefs. There you go. Oh, jeez. I turned my head and then all of a sudden... I thought you said they died. Usually they do. So his buddy's gone. No, he's probably down here. We're quiet enough. I hate that I can't tell if I'm getting him. Should have just killed him when I had the chance. But you thought better of it, and then you end up having to do it anyway. <laughs> Oh, this is new. Hey, a clip. Do you have the, do you have like the closet key or whatever at the end, the wardrobe? Do they have different outfits in this one? I think so. Whimwear girls? Ah, oh, the keeper's dog. Oh, is this the... the poker? Now they're bastards in Resident Evil, too. <laughs> you don't need to wear the suit anymore, you're already dead. The last three days, jeez. Itchy tasty. I was gonna say. Yep. Ah. That stuff. Maybe. Maybe it's time to use the stun gun. The stun gun, I think, is more powerful, but there aren't the battery. as battery. Yeah, there aren't as many. We have three of them though. Yeah, uh, let me use up my last knife.
Alright. I need a game plan. Of course, I suppose I could just... Oh, I'm, actually, I don't have anything. I should grab that last herb, and then I have to go explore the other side of the mansion. I don't know how he got infected, though. The keeper. He's wearing the suit. Yeah, that didn't make much sense. He must have been infected before he put the suit on. So maybe it was airborne. At least for a little bit. I mean, like, didn't, um... Didn't, uh... Didn't Birkin get, it, get the G airborne? Or did he inject himself? No, he injected himself with it, and then he, when he infected the army people, when he, well, no, the G virus didn't affect them. They got infected by the T virus, which I think the G virus has only ever infected like two people, if you count the movies. Yeah, the G virus. It's it's not very. It's yeah. not super infectious, per se. It's my people if you can't share it. Because what, what the heck? Where are all these Crimson Heads coming from? They're not supposed to come until later. Apparently I was wrong. We're none of us perfect. Um... um. Yeah, because it's William, Sherry, and that guy from Two Generation. Mm. Who was also voiced by Chris Redfield. Was it Roger Craig Smith? Smith? Oh, man. That was his first RE role. Alright, what? Do, where do I need to go? Actually, there's, <coughs> there's nowhere on the bottom floor I really need to go to. Now, there's those two rooms at the far end, but I don't know if they're actually... There's more stuff upstairs, but I have to go. It's e. It's this door is not. He could totally be Chris. Live action. Yeah, he could. Let me check one. Check upstairs. That's right. He's the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog. Currently. Really. Roger Craig Smith. Yeah. Oh, goodness. On the regular show. I heard... I did hear him as something on there. Clarence. That's right, he's Batman in uh, Arkham Origins. Yeah. Pick up the shiny thing! Jeez, Jill, come on. Okay. It's so weird. I'm reading, and it's like all these like video games and anime and stuff, and then you see all these home improvement shows: <laughs> Ultimate Crash, House, Bath, Kitchen, and Yard, Bath Crashers. Seventy-four episodes as the narrator or the announcer. He did a lot of narration before he. Forrest oh. has given up the ghost. Really? Read it again? <laughs> He's a mere that shadow is, of his former self. Is that who is... I thought that was the one who lost his head. No. Oh, it, he is, but... It was that one. But, uh-oh. Use his own weapon against him. Damn. Why? 
Butterfly Forest. Why have... Why did you give up the ghost? House Crashers, Kitchen Crashers, Yard Crashers, Room Crashers. <laughs> he has an issue with crashing. Apparently. He was also on Say Yes to the Dress, as I uh, showed you the other and day. And he was at COL de Tori. Yep. That one surprised me. I did, that was one of the few roles. And now that I look back, it sound, it makes sense. It sounds familiar. I haven't heard him in a while, but that's one of the few roles that I didn't immediately be like, hey, that sounds like Chris Redfield. Because he is a very distinctive voice, and he does a very similar voice in everything. Mm-hmm. Tekken 6. Jennifer's Body? Hmm. I've seen that movie. I can't remember. Curtis Miller, that was his name. Oh, in Degeneration. Mm -hmm. I'm going to inject the G virus into my own body. For some reason. He played Toby Maguire in Celebrity Deathmatch. Really, Toby Maguire? They do not have voices I would consider close. No, this is 2007. And he was in the CSA New York video game. Stop his head! Stop his head! Oh, jeez, how many of them are there? Oh, come on! I only got one shot? Jeez! Apparently, I need to go get the shotgun. They're getting tough on you. Where did they all come from? Everywhere. I believe out of the woodwork. Now I'm going to have to fight this guy. I'm just going to try to run by him. Ah, oh, the old... Picture room. Don't give up the ghost. This is different. Yeah, it is. Because in the other one, it was the children. Mm hmm. Wait, sorry, the saint. The saint's wearing the crown. The. It's what they're wearing, I need to remember. He's wearing a necklace. And then he's wearing a bracelet. All right, so the crown is green, the necklace is purple, and the bracelet is red. So this one needs to be red. Wait a minute. Oh, I have to go the other side, don't I? Let me 
see. So then this needed to be purple. All right, that's good. That's green. There we go. This is different. Yeah, it is. I'm not sure if it's more or less annoying, to be honest. Is this supposed to be Lisa? Not sure. Well, I suppose I can go drop it off. I'm right here. Why could I use the lockpick from this side, but not the other side? No question. I mean, I thought it was one of those, it's locked from the other side. Because George Trevor said so. George Trevor is not the boss of me. Even though he controls the majority of my actions within this game. Oops. So which death mask is this? No, not combine. I actually wanted to combine that with the grenade launcher. Must be this one. Can you get it wrong? It just will say, Oh, you can't do that. The aura is sort of lost considering we've seen two of them running around. Yeah, I know. That's such a pain. And you can't, you physically do not have enough oil to burn all of them. I should grab the shotgun and the thing and go try to burn all the ones in that hallway. Well, actually, I don't think I'll ever have to actually use that hallway again now. I, well, the, I, oh, the problem is if the doorknob breaks off, then... Oh, that one where it looks like it could come off at any minute. Read the sign, Jill. I heard nothing. Read the sign, Jill. Barry left me a note. You left me something? Yep. A little something, something. That's right. I don't remember what he leaves you, though. Oh. Ammo and first aid sprays, apparently. God bless him. <clears throat> and of course, the variation on the save room music. Mm -hmm. I really like the one from Code Veronica for some reason. Yeah, that was pretty good. For some reason I find it weird that Code Veronica was on the Dreamcast. Originally. It's kind of the oddball. I feel so bad for Claire because she, I mean, Code Veronica's the one that 
you know, even we were saying, you know, the backtrack fest. Yeah. And then she's just never been in anything else. Is that something on the floor? No, I tried it last time and it He's didn't do room. anything. No, I'm only at Yellow Caution. Oh, okay. I'm not playing this game again. We learn. Uh, uh, I learned my lesson last time. I didn't time. know you just had a spray. Well, I say I've got some herbs in the box, but I figured. I think I might be able to get some. I might actually not need it. I think I might get some health upstairs. Mm -hmm.